beautiful. So my biggest wish list for this dryer was I wanted to dry my hair faster. I find blow drying my hair straight is such a pain. Um, my hair is fine, but I have a lot of it. So it does take quite a while to dry. So I really wanted to see if there was a product that would speed up that process. And also something that I'm always um, cognizant about is damage to my hair. So I that unfortunately I won't be able to tell for quite some time but I would be able to find out immediately if this dryer was faster than other dryers that I've used. Now in the past um, I have used drugstore dryers like Revlon and Conair but probably not since my teens. I've always invested in good hair products, um, shampoos, conditioners, that sort of thing and tools. So I have used a lot of um, hair dryers from uh, beauty supply stores I have also used a T3. I don't know if it's the same as what they sell now because I know they're really, really expensive now. And the one I got was from Winners. It was quite a few years ago. And I've also been using, this is my latest, is the Dry Bar. Um, I think this was called the Buttercup and it is still available on the Sephora website and in their store. And I've always really enjoyed this. I've had it for about two or three years and was very happy. But like I said, I was lured in by the marketing on this Dyson and wanted to try it out. And I also hope to shave off a little time getting my hair dried faster. So I want you guys to know when I did all the try demos, I used the same hair styling products so that I'm kind of comparing apples to apples. However, I do apologize. I did use different shampoos every time. And I know some people might think shampoo, it's not really a big deal, but to me, um, especially because one of the shampoos I did use during this test, I didn't really care for. And I think that kind of reflected on how my hair looked that day, even though I'd use the same hair product. So I apologize for that, but I do use different shampoos and conditioners almost every time because sometimes I use a purple one. Sometimes I want some extra moisturizing. So that always varied and I'm very sorry because that it did kind of sway my opinion on some of the days because I really didn't care for that shampoo and I did notice it made a difference on how my hair looked for that day. But today, on my final day of trying it, I'm using my absolute favorite shampoo and conditioner, which is the Moroccan Oil, and I got that from the Sephora VIB sale. Um, so anyway, I'll go into detail about that product on a different video. But for today, I'll just quickly show you what products I used. Um, I use the Aveda, this is the Shampure Thermal Dry, or Wet Shampoo, Conditioner, sorry. I use this just as a detangler. I use various ones, but for this um, trial, I always use this to, just to detangle my hair. And then I went in with a volumizing mousse just on my roots, and this is from Bumble and Bumble. This is the Thickening, and I use this one every time because it gives my roots a lot of volume. The next thing I used also from Bumble Bumble is from their thickening line and this is a volumizing spray and I spritz this all through my hair when it's damp. And then the final thing is I mix these two products. This is a sample from Alterna. It's the CC Caviar 10 in 1. I use this as a heat protectant. And this is a Bumble and Bumble um, styling product for blow drying. It's supposed to help smooth and help your blow dry last a little bit longer. So these are all the products that I used in my trials. So let's look at the dryer. So here it is. Um, I've always thought it's like a little bit strange. It is a longer um, handle than most hair dryers and it looks kind of short, but then you do add attachments. So mine came with this little um, heat resistant pad. So if you have like a linoleum type countertop, it won't burn, you can put it down, but mine is um, granite so that I don't really use that. It also came with a diffuser. I did not use the diffuser. If I wear my hair curly, I sleep with it wet and then wake up in the morning and use a flat iron to curl it. So I did not use the diffusing products. So I can't really comment. But all the attachments are magnetic and just click on, which is very, very handy to me. So the other two attachments it came with, these are the ones I used. So one of them is a narrow point. And what that is intended to do is help smooth your hair. And it just kind of 
pinpoints the um, air into a very thin line. If you've ever used a Dyson hand dryer, they're usually in public washrooms, you put your hand in and it's like a slice of air. This is very similar if you've ever tried that. That's kind of how this air comes out. And then the other attachment is more of a thicker attachment. So this one I found didn't really smooth my hair as much, but you got a lot more air coming out of it. And again, that also is a snap on. Now mine is the matte black version. I keep it in a drawer all on its own, but I have noticed that it is getting a little bit scuffed. Not that it's chipping the paint off, but I would imagine if you put it in a drawer with a lot of other tools and brushes and things, I think it could get a little bit dinged up. So just be aware of that. What I also noticed, which was a little strange for me um, and would take some getting used to, is that the buttons are on the back. Most hair dryers I've ever used, they are in the front and you can kind of jimmy them as I'm drying my hair, but I think that's just something to get used to. Just I'm just used to using them that way. So I always found I had to kind of fumble to the back to change things because there are different heating settings and there is a cool shot and then this is the button to turn it on and off. Now in my demo I did try all different variations and like I said I will give you time on how long each one took. And so that's pretty much in a nutshell the um, dryer itself. It has this really heavy duty cord um, which I don't really care about but some people may. My husband really liked this cord. He said this is a great type of cord because it won't tangle as easy. Um, I find these kind of do get a little wrapped around and sometimes get tangled but anyway that's not really that important to me. So like I said my big thing for me was speed um, for my hair to dry faster and long term to not get as damaged. So the first one I used was the narrow and I dried my hair with I dried my hair the same as I always do I always dry and first I towel dry it in my uh, turby towel and then I apply my products then I dry and I always do it in layers I layer down and I actually will do a tutorial I've had a couple of requests people want to see how I dry my hair so I'll do that in a separate video so for the first time I used it I used this narrow point and I had it on the highest setting. So there is a high heat setting and then there's a high volume of air setting. And it took me eight minutes and 17 seconds to achieve that. And I will insert a photo here of how my hair turned out that day. And then I probably should have meant the large. And this one gives you a lot more air coming out and it's not as precise. So using the large nozzle, and I also had it on the highest setting for air and heat, that one took me nine minutes and 51 seconds. Now, that's very unusual to me because I was getting more blast of air. Um, it wasn't as precise for smoothing, so it ended up taking me quite a bit longer, which actually really surprised me. And my hair wasn't as smooth, but I was kind of expecting that because it is this, um, wider bottom. So I think this would be if you just want to quickly blow dry your hair. So next I went back to my narrow guy here and I went on half the heat and half the air just to tone it down a little bit. And this one took me 10 minutes and 42 seconds. So it wasn't, I wasn't getting more used to it. It still was actually taking me longer. So again, I will remind you, my regular dry bar took me 8 minutes and 48 seconds and this one was 10.42. So we're looking at almost 2 minutes more. And my hair, um, yes, with the narrow it is smooth. So next I used the large again and also on the half setting of heat, half setting on um, air forced. And that's how I did my hair today. It took me 12 minutes and 14 seconds. So even though it was the wider 
my hair I think does look quite smooth and I think that was due to the Moroccan oil shampoo. Out of all these demo testing days, that's the only day I use that Moroccan oil shampoo and when you actually use it in the shower, it feels really creamy. I'm assuming they put oil in the shampoo, Moroccan oil, I guess so. Um, so I think that really makes a huge difference in making my hair more smooth. It's very um, finicky. You have to point the hair dryer down. If it moves like that, forget it. It It is such intense um, air coming through, like I told you, putting your hair in that Dyson blade. It actually bird nests my roots, if you can believe it. So I kind of had to fumble a lot following to make sure every time it was pointed horizontally and down. Otherwise, you have a nest up here, at least on my hair because my hair is quite fine. So it grabbed it and it just went nuts. So I thought, I, I apologize, I meant to insert that as part of my comments as well. So end result, I didn't get any time. In fact, that's four minutes, almost four minutes more than my dry bar. Now, if I'm was to choose a time I would choose the nozzle I would use the narrowest because I think this makes my hair the smoothest and I would do it on the highest heat and highest blowing and those ones were usually around the eight to ten minute mark. One thing I have noticed with it that I wasn't expecting and was kind of a pleasant surprise is my blow dry seems to last. Now with this dry bar one I would I usually wash my hair every third morning and usually the second day my hair is and it's a mess. Now I use, I rely on dry shampoos. That's more to soak up oil, but it does give me some volume. And I do use a lot of volumizing root products the second day. I have not used a root product once in the time I've used this dryer, not once. I have used dry shampoo. Um, that was just to make my <laughs> hair not look so greasy, but I honestly, I did not use any extra volumizing, which is very unusual, and my blow dry seemed to last. So that was an unexpected bonus um, that I'm quite happy with. However, overall, I personally do not think this was worth the money. I did get it on sale, and I got it as a gift, but it was for my husband, so it's our money, but I don't think it's worth the hefty, hefty price tag. I did get it at a discount for the VIB sale and I got this lovely bonus kit of all these extra products, which is a huge bonus. I think this is worth over $100. So again, I got some nice um, benefits out of buying this. If you are on the market to get a new hair dryer, I think this is a lovely hair dryer to try. This one isn't far off. I think this was about $300. I, I can't totally remember. Maybe it was $250 and I think it came as a kit. So this was pretty pricey too. Um, but honestly, I don't think it's something that you have to have. I do think it's overpriced for what it is. It's a lovely dryer. I'm happy to own it, but I honestly don't think it's worth the money. So anyway, and just as the last thing I, I kind of mentioned, it was a gift. It's not... I didn't get this for free. I paid for it um, with my husband, whatever. I got it as a birthday gift. So this opinion is totally mine. And I apologize. I didn't use the same shampoo every time. So I think that did sway something slightly. Um, but anyway, that is the final result. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any thoughts or opinions on this dryer, or if you own it, um, I'd love to hear what you think. But pretty much all the information I gathered kind of had the same opinion as me. There were a few people that just thought it was amazing, but perhaps they hadn't used um, a luxury hair dryer.